This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, Blueberry Girl. I dig this one um, a whole lot more than I do Peach Girl. I mean, I love Peach Girl, but Blueberry really, you know, she kicks it up a notch. I like it. Um, she transforms, you know, with that big head and transform into those. Uh, that's really nice uh, bike. It kind of reminds me of Lightspeed. Is that? I can't remember the name, but that, uh, you know, Technobot uh, alt mode. So uh, looks good. Uh, and this is I got from magicsquare.com from their uh, collaborations tab. Uh, so far, they only have those two figures plus two other ones for some movie figs or something. But uh, collaboration, because I think they're actually made by, you know, Mukudo, Mukudo Toys and uh, sold by Magic Square. But there's an accessory, a stand for her, and the stand says Magic Square. So, you know, I'll show that to you in a moment. Before I do so, please uh, don't, you know, take time to later to watch my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of, the interview playlist, something that I was lucky enough to interview five actors, and uh, you know, it's there for you to watch. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online stores, you know, you can pick up if you're in the local Ottawa area, or you can uh, have it shipped and it's like super nicely uh, wrapped. And, uh, you know, Derek's a really good guy and I'm, um, you know, very happy to be sponsored. At the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code uh, for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Operators, Moon Racer, Chromia to Alita One. All right, here we are with Blueberry Girl, and let's take a look at what's inside. First thing, uh, she came with a card, and so did the Peach Girl, uh, but I forgot to show it. So here's Peach Girl's card, and it's just you know box art, some stats, and wow, Chromia really, really beats RC. Wow much more strength and you know intelligent and wow never realized chroma was so superior it's kind of kind of weird anyway but uh you know it's like plastic it's yeah it's plastic really hard looks really good though you have a tiny little axe and i don't recall seeing maybe it's a comic book reference but I don't recall seeing Chromia with an axe, but it looks good. Have a little shield. Uh, I thought it was going to be part of the alt mode, but it just it just plugs in as a shield on the alt mode. So kind of weird. Extra face, the happy one, because right now she's very determined. And then see the magic square stand, which is kind of really plain. So I don't know if that's just something they did for the collaboration part. Because uh, if you look at the box, it's MSG03 Blueberry Girl. There's no X, you know, like the other one was G G01 X because I think it was a repaint of Nightbird. This one's a new mold, so G03 Blueberry Girl. And I, I you know, I hope they do all the the, the fanbots, like the Elita One crew. I hope they do that. All different mold. That that would be very fun because. I can't get the old Combiner Wars version uh, because it's too pricey. So I'd like to see, you know, I could fill a shelf of uh, these little uh, doll robots. So Mukudo, and then you have the nice alt mode, and you can see where the axe plugs in. Uh, and then you can see that the axe was supposed to be two, three, uh, two colors, you know, blue and black, but uh, that didn't happen. So. Anyway. And then, warning, don't choke, kids under three are dumb, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and a little, you know, pink picture. Looks good. All right, to do the, I'm just going to do the face swap already. Basically, you uh, unplug this and unplug this and then lift this up. And then it's just one joint, so you just pop it off. 
would be happy face. Put that back. Uh, like this. And now she's back at uh, being happy. But I think I'm going to keep the determined face on her. You know. Well, maybe not determined. Maybe just serious. Yeah, maybe I'll keep the happy. Yeah. Keeping the happy. Happiness is key. All right. So taking a look at the figure, she has uh, good articulation on the head. We'll do a full rotation. Looks up, looks down, no attitude. Her arm will, while well, she has a big head, but you can still get your Ferris wheel out. You have a rotation under the shoulder. You have the elbow bend. Oh, very, oh yeah, because of transformation, it's actually very big. Uh, bend and then you have the rotation of the hand at the wrist You don't have a rotation at the waist you do have well. It's not even an ab crunch. It's just transformation She can you know, look up quite a bit. I guess uh, No Van Damme she can sit down Well, she's top heavy so but yeah, you can manage to sit her down and then you have a rotation under the thigh joint or the hip joint you have a knee which is more flexible than peach girl it's a plus and then you have a rotation it's a ball joint so you have a full tilt rocker well maybe not a back and forth but you have some room to play and she's so cute love it i really do and I like the paint on her. Like it's uh, well, this is this one is colored plastic with black paint and little uh, other paint here. So looks really good. It's kind of hard to tell which plastic is painted, but I do believe it's the. Uh, I'm colorblind, so this looks like turquoise or gray. Turquoise gray, but if it's gray and I see it as turquoise, it's because of all the blue that's around it. So it's weird how it works. And in the back, well, on top, you see the, uh, you know, from the front, it's just the kind of regular chromia head. And then here, it's just, ugh. but it's cool. And like, I don't know why they, you know, they added those little wheels in the back. They don't do anything. And it's, it's to pretend that it's the Altmult wheels, but you can see them right here. So there's no cover for it. I don't know. But it uh, it does it doesn't even clip or hold anything. It's just there. Anyway, she looks really good. All right, let's do some size compare. Oh, that stand really it it's, it whoa it's kind of hard. Okay, it's it's worth it because she doesn't stand really good. She's top heavy, so you just plug her in like this. And on the other side, same thing. And now, and even with that, sometimes she just falls over. So there you go. Let's do, let's keep her like that. Uh, let's do some size comparison with her mom, Siege Chromia. And you can, you know, it's uh, the, the head sculpting. Oh, this is mistransformed. Hold on. This, it's a really tight piece. There you go. So you have the red bar on top. And then you have the white piece. I mean, it's a uh, different. Uh, the rest of the head is different, but you can see the inspiration. And then there's more black on this one because uh, Chromia from Siege is all white. So it's not exactly the same color scheme, but it's very similar. I guess her dad, Studio Series 86 Ironhide with Toy Hacks decals. A fantastic figure if you don't have them and if you can still find them, I recommend that you do. And with her best friend Peach and or Peach Girl. And uh, I, I like uh, having these two uh, together uh, on the shelf. It looks really good. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that uh, Magic Square keeps collaborating with uh, Mukudo and uh, give us more uh, little uh, figurines like that. And now let's go for the alt mode. Firestar, Moonracer, stand back. And I forgot to show the instructions. So, again, these are really well done. Uh, Color-coded. It's, you know, it does the job. 
honestly it does and uh, the uh, you know I've seen worse much worse so no good instructions okay now with the alt mode and here we are in alt mode and she looks really good transformation is finicky a little bit but it's worth it um, lazy transformation on my part the hand I have a kind of a similar issue where if I push the whole peg into the hand then it's extremely hard to pull out so you know these here should be a little further inside so sorry about that but it's just not worth the trouble um, that joint here to put this plate over the face this here that blue bar that you see extremely tight like you know I'm afraid I'm gonna break it type of tight so this I wish this would go a little further in um, but the, I like uh, how the wheel you know basically the wheel just turn like this and when you transform them you put them that way same thing on the, the other side so the storage is good and then you have a perfectly centered uh, wheel and it stands on itself I mean there's no robot part hanging out like you could think the knee would uh, would touch but uh, they actually uh, don't and it rolls just fine no issue hey there you go that's balance man like it uh, you can see the robot part uh, you have to make sure when you transform her that the back is fully pushed upward or else you're gonna have problem with the connection I found that out the hard way uh, but uh, I mean you can see you know those are legs but really doesn't uh, matter it's really good I'm getting a you know um, I think it's either light speed or afterburner uh, that's his alt mode basically so pro musative no she's awesome and I love the colors love the paint uh, you know and I love that it's not a repaint of RC again or you know like they did with the uh, uh, siege line was just a repaint and slight retool of Lancer and uh, moon uh, moon racer and then the other one uh, green light you know they were all the same uh, alt mode so uh, I hope that they actually do release more figures like uh, this one here in a different mold but you know each one for a different out mode for Lancer for Moon Racer green light I would like that so and you know with the cute big head like that it's super nice so there you go guys I'm gonna put her back in uh, robot mode and give you the final thought yes we exist and we always will and here we are a little family uh, play fighting and uh, I'm really happy with this figure um, I have to say I like her a lot more than I did uh, Peach Girl she they're both great molds but Chromia just or Blueberry Girl just has a little more stability and uh, but I do I, I did you know I trend trying to transform it and you know playing with it I did create a couple of paint scratches so that's my bad and uh, but I really like this uh, this figure it's uh, and like I said I'm hoping that they do all the uh, Elita one crew at this point so thanks for watching guys I hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment I love reading those keep coming back I have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care